Good morning and welcome to Live in the Classroom at Clearview High School. Today we're at CCISD's newest career technical education program, welding here at Clearview. I'm with Mr. John Membreno. He's the doing, welding teacher here at Clearview High School. Mr. Membreno, how is the welding program going so far? It's going great. Uh, we just got a lot of our equipment in. We, we're, we're excited to, to get started the right way. Uh, we look forward to um, earning some certifications and, and winning some welding contests. So yeah, we're, we're off to a great start. Yeah, and we're only about a month, month and a half into the new school year. What have you guys been working on for the last month? So, so far, um, we've been working with the stick welding, SMAW, shield of metal arc welding. Um, we're teaching them how to pad beads, um, or oxy fuel torch cutting. We're teaching them how to use a track torch, the pipe beveler plasma cutting, so we've done a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we're off to a great start. Like I said, we're, we're hitting the road running. Yeah, and so why is this uh, welding program so important and so special to CCISC students? So um, I'm very blessed and fortunate to be the first welding teacher for CCISD. Mm -hmm. This is actually the first year that they ever had welding, welding technology for the district. So the difference between this welding program and previous welding programs in, in a district like Ag Mechanics, we just focus on teaching these students how to make a living underneath the hood. That's our main focus. We want to make sure that these guys are ready for the certification tests that are be coming up for those guys to um, get ready for the workforce. Mm. But number one thing that I try to instill on them is work ethic. Work ethic, soft skills is one of the biggest things that industry is, is, is lacking. You know, um, they hire for hard skills, but most of these people are lacking on soft skills. Yeah, and so these kids, once they finish up this program here at Clearview and they get their certification, they'll be able to immediately go out into the workforce, right? That's the plan. Yeah. That's the plan. So we have um, our business partners that we're bringing along, uh, contractors for the plan, some, some mom and pop welding shops that we're getting on, on board on an advisory committee. So that's, that's the plan to get them to work, J-O-B, awesome. yes. Awesome, cool. And so uh, we're going to get started here in a minute, but what is what are you guys working on today specifically in class? So today we're going to be doing oxy fuel torch pipe cutting, grinding, and we're going to be working with 7018, 6010, 7018. All right. Well, T-joint, we'll, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll go ahead and let you get started then. All right, sounds good. Okay. Come on, Artemis. All right, guys, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Okay, game plan, game plan for today. So I need Christopher Lawson, I need Weldon to help me cut the oxy fuel torch pipe every three inches, okay? You guys, I need help with the, with the grinder. I'm gonna be over here. Yavi, what are you working on? All right, you, you don't know how to use a grinder, huh? Yesterday, okay, perfect. That's 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 good enough. So, T joints. Who still who still who still needs to get on T joints? Raise your hand. Okay. What do you, what are you working on? Uphill. 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 T joint. Okay. So, I'm gonna be walking around. I'm gonna be walking around ch checking you guys out. But the the biggest thing right now, I need I need uh, I need that pipe cut to to free up some some room. So walking room, okay? You got that? All right, come on, let's go. Let's get started. Hey, let's get started. Yeah. You still remember how to cut, right? Yeah. 
Remember, light it up, light it up in the beginning. And then the first cut, we have to make sure that thing is hot, super hot. Slide it in. Yavi, safety glasses. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then we'll grind it both sides, and then um. Kind of grind this nice and straight, and I'm gonna show you how to run your first few beads. Okay? Get that, get that first cut. On that first bevel, get this first bevel here, like so, and then uh, preheat it nice and slow, because that's going to be our first cut. Yes. So um, what, he, what, what he's doing here, he's gonna, um, the first thing that, that you have to do is you have to preheat the metal. The reason that you wanna preheat the metal is because the, the, the metal actually absorbs moisture, okay? And you wanna get all that water that's out of there. So with the oxygen fuel torch process, the acetylene, the mixture of acetylene and oxygen, the, the flame is actually 5,700 degrees. So it's the hottest mixture of flame that, that, that's in the industry. So what the oxygen fuel torch process does, whenever we're cutting, what it's, it's not actually doing the cutting, it's actually rapidly oxidizing the metal. Meaning it's rusting up the metal real quick, breaking down the, the metal through the metallurgical properties, you know, down to we get into the metallurgical properties, I'm sorry. And um, yeah, that's what it's doing. So what it was actually doing the cutting is gonna be the oxygen. So first thing you, you wanna, remember go that way then come back. Slow down a bit, there you go, there you go. Yeah, watch your feet, watch your feet. <laughs> There you go, cool. Good deal, good deal, good deal. And then you are gonna be helping him, bro, making sure that he's not yeah. dragging that, that, that hose. Okay? Cool, 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 cool. Once you get down to this, once you get down pretty close to it, uh -huh. because the, these hoses, whenever they get close to this, this pipe stand, you ain't gonna be able to go. Uh -huh. By the way, there you go. Grab me some channel locks. There you go. Good stuff. Just make sure whenever it falls, make sure that you speed up a little bit more, okay? Every three inches. Once you get close to this, when, when you get close to that pipe stand, call me so I can show you how to, how to push this pipe stand back. All right? All right, cool.
Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. I'll check up on you in a little bit. Yeah, just watch this guy. Now we were with JT Buford here with CCISD. Uh, Mr. Buford, what's this program? Why is this program so important to the district? Uh, so the welding program, along with all other technical education programs, is super important to, to help get skills for students to be able to go straight into the workforce. Uh, you know, we recognize that not all students are, are geared for college or have an interest in going to college, but there are there are great careers out there, high-paying careers for students such as welders, um, and this is an opportunity for them to, to have a career directly out of high school. And this is uh, CCIC's newest career technical education program. Why is welding such an important uh, skill to have or a good skill to have and a good work a job to go into right out of uh, high school? Absolutely. Um, so welding is, is a high paying, mm -hmm. high paying career. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you look at the industry or the area that we live in, uh, and the industries that are here, welding is a key staple of those industries. So we need folks to help build plants, to help maintain plants. Um, let's step oh. this way. <laughs> uh, so, so welding is a, is a key component to almost every facet of, of a lot of the industries that are around Clear Creek ISD. And so how have we seen some of the other CTE programs in CCISD help students as soon as they graduate high school? Yes, ma'am. So uh, working with internships with community-based partners um, those students are able to take the skills that they've learned in the classroom here, show those off at a, with a community partner at an internship, and then turn that around into getting straight into industry following school. Yeah, and so what are some of those other CTE programs that CCIC offers? Absolutely. So some of the other ones that we offer are automotive technology. So we have students working in dealerships in the, in the greater CCISD area, culinary. Um, we have vet med. Um, so we have students working within veterinary offices as part of the ag program. CNA is actually hosted here at Clearview yeah. as well. So we have students that are that are actively getting those certifications to be able to work as a certified nursing assistant and get that certification. And this is showing students that they don't necessarily have to go to college right, right. after co uh, high school. They have other options, right? Absolutely. And absolutely. so, how do you think that CCISD is is helping instill that into its students? Uh, just showing that we care. Uh, CCIC cares about each student, cares about their future, and uh, we're not going to put every student on the same path. Let them find what, they, what they're interested in and what's going to help them be successful as an adult. So we are in the welding class right now. You Have you popped into this class yet this, oh, this yes, semester? Yes, I mean, are you impressed with how quickly the students are picking things up and, and they're starting to work? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, you know, for being a month in and watching students work on a pipe beveler, you know, with minimal minimal instruction or excuse me, minimal supervision, sure. you know, is is great. We have students that are working in welding booths individually and getting shadowed and, and, and seeing what's going on. It's it's awesome to see how quickly they're picking up on it. Awesome. All right, thank you.
All right, we've got uh, Junior, right? Junior yes, uh, Autumn here at Clearview High School, and you're in the welding program. Um, what do you like about this welding program? I definitely like the fact that it's so hands-on. Like, we from day one, we've been learning and welding, and like if in other programs, you're doing a lot of books and you're doing a lot of like learning about it before you actually do it, you know? Right. So like with this program, straight to it, and it's so hands-on and you're doing everything. And it's really cool. Yeah, what's the best thing you've learned so far about this program? Um, the best thing so far, I'd say, is throwing my beads. Um, that's the most important part, is having good technique and good travel speed. So, How is it preparing you for post-high school life? He's teaching us everything we need to know. He goes over it step by step, then we all practice, and then we all come back and do our thing. So it's like very, it's very easy to get to learn it whenever you're doing it, you know? So like, even like to oxyfill torch cutting, like we had me cutting and I didn't even know how to cut, but I was cutting and now I know how to do it. And so uh, what do you want to do after you graduate high school? I want to go into the refineries and work as a welder. So this is perfect for yeah. you then, awesome. Yeah. Um, if you could recommend this to any other student or anybody else uh, that might be interested in welding, what would you tell them to kind of, just kind of shine a light on this program? Definitely like, Get ready because it's so hands-on and if you're really looking for something that is not all book and paper, just come over here and you know get ready because it's a lot of fun. Do you think that this is actively preparing you for that job? I definitely do. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, we have another student, Colin. He's a senior here at Clearview High School, and he was actually working on the project we were watching earlier. Colin, I understand that this is not your first time working with welding and things like that. Can you tell me a little bit about what you used to do? Uh, I, well, I was in my ag mechanic class at Clear Falls for since my sophomore year, and I've been doing that and doing projects for uh, Clear Falls and everything and doing it at the rodeo and stuff okay. like that. Okay, yeah, and why did you decide you wanted to come over to Clearview? Well, because I love welding so much. I, I really fell for it there, and I just wanted to pursue it more and make a career out of it. So I think this is the best option for it. Yeah, this yeah. is the first year that Clearview has had this, yeah. only about a month in. What yeah. have you learned so far? Oh, so much, so much. I've learned how to oxy torch. I've learned a lot more about welding than I already knew. Um, I learned about grinding, I mean everything, about safety, clothes, what I need to wear and all of that. Yeah, and you are a senior this year, yes, so you're, I'm sure, thinking yeah. about the next step. What is the next step for you? Um, either to go into a trade school, but I'm really hoping I get a lot of information from this class, which I think I will, yeah. and then uh, I might just go into the workforce after this. Perfect. Yeah. And do you think that this is a better alternative option for students who maybe don't want to oh, go yeah. right into college? Why is that? Because it's just, it's everything you need to learn here. You get a lot of information right at the, like, right off the bat. And I just love that. Yeah. yeah. Um, what would you tell other students to, about, about this program, about how it's kind of changed your mind about what you want to do next? Um, I think it's really a really good option for everybody. I mean, even if you like have the slightest interest in welding, I think it's like the best option for yeah, you. Cool. Yeah, cool. And so you're ready to go, you think, oh, after yeah. this class. Oh yeah. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. We've been at Clearview High School here in their new welding program. We'll see you next time.